Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to limit your download and upload speed on your Mac using a free tool from Apple called the Network Link Conditioner. And what this will do is to allow you to set up a bandwidth profile so you can limit the amount of bandwidth that your computer is using. This might be useful for not choking your network that you're using and preventing other people from doing things like Zoom calls or Skype calls while you're downloading a game or something that's not necessarily that important. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this page where you can download the network link conditioner from Xcode additional tools. However, you won't see this page unless you are logged in with an Apple developer account. You can easily enroll your existing Apple ID in order to get to this page. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is go to developer.apple.com and this is going to take us to the Apple developer website. And basically what I want to do is to click on this account button here. And this is going to ask us to sign into Apple developer. So what I'm going to do is to create a new Apple ID and then and enroll this from scratch just to show you how easy it is and how you can do it for free. So here I'm going to press create yours now. What we're going to do is to create a brand new Apple ID. Then we're going to enter the capture and then continue. Then we're going to verify our email address. Then we're going to enter the code that we received in our email. So now this is the important part. This is the Apple developer agreement. So if you signed into any other account, I had to create a new one from scratch. But basically, if you sign up to any account, this is just a one time process. We must agree to the Apple developer agreement. And then I'm going to click here. By checking this box, I agree to be banned by the agreement above. I'm going to uncheck this for spam and then press submit. And et voila, we have a developer account now. And you don't actually have to make a payment in order to get this to work. So once we're enrolled and we've logged into our account, what you can do is now download the additional tools for Xcode 14 release candidate. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this page where you can find the more download section and the additional tools for Xcode 14. So here we're going to download the latest version, which is this one here. And then we're going to put this into our downloads folder. So once that downloads complete, we're going to go to Finder and then Downloads and then double click on Additional Tools. And then we're going to double click on Hardware. And that's going to give us access to the Network Link Conditioner Preference pane. So here we're going to double click. And then this is going to install this into our computer. So press the Install button. Then we need to type in our local administrator password, press OK. And now the network link conditioner has been added. So if you go to System Preferences from scratch, so I'll show you there, how to get to there, you go to System Preferences, and then Network Link Conditioner is going to be here. So just going to show you how the Network Link Conditioner works. So what you can do is to change the profile of your Wi-Fi or your network. And what you can do is press Manage Profiles. And you can either use one of the preset profiles here, or you can create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one here. I'm going to call this one Limited Internet, press Create. And then basically, we can dictate the amount of bandwidth that's available. Let's say I want the download bandwidth to be one megabit per second and the upload bandwidth to be one megabit per second. So if I create this custom profile now, press OK. And if I select limited internet as my profile and then turn the link conditioner on, then that's going to limit the amount of speed that my internet can use. So for example, here I'm downloading this Ubuntu ISO and it's running at about five, five and a half megabytes per second, which is basically the maximum speed of my internet. However, if I go to my network, Link conditioner and then turn this on. The downlink should be one megabit per second and the uplink should be one megabit per second. So now the speed has been limited appropriately. So if you ever wanted to globally limit the amount of bandwidth that your Mac is using, then the network link conditioner is the key. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.